All right, family, you back with another video. As y'all can see, I made this mush for these puppies. It's real watery. It's not what I made in the first video, first ever video. It's real watery, as y'all can see. The reason being is because I'm trying to wean them off their mama. They not really fucking with it, but I'm trying to get them to really, you know what I'm saying, get into it, you know, shit like that. But as y'all can see, we got some bad news and some good news. I'm going to start off by saying this. For every bad thing that happened to you, something good about to happen to you. That's all I'm going to say. So I got bad news. Bad news. Like, it really hurted me. So y'all know from this last Sophie and Juice letter, I had one female and six males, seven puppies, four survived, three died. Yes, I'm going to say it again. Three died. My female, my pick of the litter, my keeper. Yes, she died. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you can see I, had, I got the incubator set up over here. I actually had her in the incubator with the oxygen machine. My buddy let me borrow the, uh, oxygen, the oxygen thing, the oxygen concentrator. I had everything hooked up. I actually had it on live showing it. She. So what happened was, I can just tell she couldn't breathe, man. She was like, her chest was beating real fast. And I can tell she couldn't breathe. So I ended up taking her to the vet. That was on like Saturday. So after that Saturday, well, when she went that Saturday, they kept telling me, oh, you know, we don't think she's going to live this and that. I'm not trying to hear all that shit. So when I went back on Sunday, she stayed there for two days. She stayed in the vet for two days. I spent about $1,500. So she stayed there. I went to check on her on Sunday. They said she was doing horrible. When I went and I actually took, got her, and I looked at her. Um, she was actually doing pretty good. So I went Monday morning, picked her up at 7 o'clock, brought her back here. She was doing worse than when I first even took her. That's the crazy part. She was doing worse than when I took her. So I brought her back, put her in the incubator. She was in the incubator maybe eight hours, and then she died. They gave me medicine, I tube fed her, all that good stuff. I don't know, man, but all I'm going to say is when I took her there, um, when I took her there, she was doing a lot better than what she was doing. Then when I, uh, she was doing a lot better than what she was doing when I picked her up. And when I picked her up, she was not doing well at all. But you know, it's part of the game. It really hurts me because y'all know that was my keeper, my pick of the litter. So it does hurt me. It hurts, you know, it really hurts a lot for that to have happened. Um, but it's part of the game. Again, it's part of the game. I'm trying to put these puppies in this mush to get them to start eating it. As you guys can see, I only got three puppies. Those, those are only three puppies. So, you know we have seven. There's only three. Look at this nigga. Get it off your mouth, man. And this boy right here. All three are sold. So, the other male that we had, he's already went to his. Uh, he already went to the guy. The guy. Uh, the guy that. Um, my buddy that I had a deal worked out with, with Sophie, he already got his puppy. He wanted to get her early. He got her uh, two, three days ago. They about to be four. Actually, they be four weeks on Friday. So he he know how to he know how to feed them. He know how to get everything. Their eyes are open. They're walking. So they're pretty much fine. As long as you know what you're doing. I don't let my puppy. I normally don't let him go this early, but he knew what he was doing. I knew he knew what he was doing. And me and him having a, you know a contract signed up with. He knew what he was doing by taking him that early. Okay. So that's on him. Um, but pretty much, man, you know, that's what we had so far. We're just trying to get them to eat this mush. They not fucking with it. I got a couple different recipes I'm going to try to feed them to get them to start eating this mush. They're not really fucking with it right now, but until then, they're going to stay on Sophie. Got a lot of updates on... um. These dogs out here. Hennessy Little Drop Wednesday next week. I know I said I want to take my lock ins, but I got a few lock -ins. Oh, real quick. Real fucking quick. I meant to show y'all this. Y'all know about juice and shit. Y'all know juice bed tore up. So I know I told y'all I had ordered me some more beds. I didn't order four of them because I don't need four of them. So I only ordered two. Two beds. These beds are going to be smaller. Because the beds I had in there were too big. So I ordered some smaller ones. So I got some medium. No, no, no. I got, uh, 
I think I got a small. I don't know, man. I got medium, small, some shit. I forgot what I had. So I had all mediums. Let me call you back. I'm doing my uh, video. Let me call you back. Alright. Yeah, so. Then I got a small. Let me see. I don't know, but got a man, got two of them. One of them is, I'm sorry, one of them we know for juice. Cause that boy juice, I always put something big. So I got a smaller bed for him. How to put them together is real simple. I don't know if you guys know, but I just put one together for you real quick. Nothing too quick, nothing too, uh, nothing too hard. You put it together for you real quick. Hey, yo! You dumbass thing. So, I forgot how this shit works. I'm sure. Cool, there we go. Got it, got it, got it. So, like this. So these two are gonna go like this. Let me see. These are gonna be those. So we're gonna be this. We're gonna go here. And we're gonna go there. So, um, real quick, I'm gonna do. I before anybody ask me, these beds, it's simple. You get them on Amazon. All you have to do is go on Amazon and get these beds on Amazon. They do come big. Trust me, they do come big. The ones I have out there now are what the size I have now or I think they're mediums. So I went and got the I went and got a smaller size. I got the smallest. Because as y'all know, I got micros, so they don't need this big, they don't need these big ass beds that I had them in. So I got smaller beds. But that just means it depends on what you want to get. Like, I her, I prefer to be, you know, because I, I realize, man, when you get these big ass beds, like Mona, look at Mona. Mona's able to fucking just sit on her bed. So, to avoid that, what I did was, that's why I got two, the honest reason why. Yeah. So I can get Mona a smaller bed so she can stop shitting on her bed. That was the reason why I got Mona a smaller bed, because. I'll be showing you guys real quick how everything is looking out there with the uh, dogs and stuff like that. Hen Hennessy is huge, man. She's super huge. We excited. And when I told you guys, you know, I know I told you guys in the beginning of the video, for every, damn, for every, uh, for every bad thing, there's a positive thing. So I don't know what, you know, what my God has in store, what God has in store for me with this bully shit, but. I lost three puppies, which I'm not tripping, because that just means I got something positive coming with this Hennessy litter, and I already know when this litter drop, litter gonna be fire as hell. I'm tripping like a bitch. Oh shit, I'm tripping. And I don't know y'all see this shit, but I'm tripping hard. I'm tripping hard. I'm tripping hard as hell. I got this shit backwards. I'm tripping. I don't know if y'all can notice it, but uh, I got this shit backwards. So what I'm just gonna do? I'm gonna take it like this here. And swap it here. And do it like that. That way, I ain't gotta take that loose. Bro, these beds come in handy, bro. If you own dogs, you're trying to get your kennel, start a kennel. These beds are handy, bro. Get you some of these beds, bro. Make sure you get you some of these beds, bro. These beds are super fucking handy. So if you're trying to breed dog, whatever the case was, get you some of these beds, bro. These beds come in handy. Oh, you know, real quick, what I want to uh, just uh, address real quick. I don't really want to speak too much on it because I really don't care. And it really doesn't faze me. But... Just so people have an understanding of why I got rid of Sophie, you gotta understand as a breeder, 
as a business person. Listen, bro. I will say this. Obviously, selling bullies feed my family. Like, that's not my only income, but obviously, the money does help feed my family. So, with that being said, y'all, I don't know what everybody be talking about. Damn. Stop. I don't know what everybody be talking about when they be talking about, oh, he only breathing for, you know, he, he this and he, bro, listen, bro. Bullet breeders put, breeding bullies put bread in my, in my, in my you know, put food on table, shit like that. So, of course, being a bully breeder, you also fucking, it's common sense that bully, being a bully breeder, you, you are breeding for money also. But the thing people, some people fail to realize is me, of course, the, of course I love the money and breeding the bully. Of course, like, if I love the money, that's common sense. Like, who the fuck wouldn't love the money? If that was the case, I wouldn't be selling my puppies. I'd be giving the bitches away, you feel me? But that's not the case with me. It's the fact that, like, being a breeder, I'm trying to create something. So with that being said, most breeders don't give a fuck about creating something. They just want to breed dogs and sell dogs. You know what I'm saying? Me? One thing about me, bro, I like to create my own shit. So with that being said, the reason I sold Sophie was because of the fact that I had her daughter. So I didn't need her no more. You know what I'm saying? I got her daughter. Um, her daughter was going to outproduce her. Her daughter was going to look way better than she was. So that was the reason for me selling her. So for the people that felt like, oh, man, oh, you just bred her and got rid of her. Bro, I got a vision in my head. I got a vision dog. I got a certain dog I'm trying to breed. I got a certain dog I'm trying to produce. I got a certain look that I'm trying to produce in my camp. So with that being said, if I want to buy a dog and breed her and get rid of her, that's my decision. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got a certain goal as a bully breeder. You know what I'm saying? And with that being said, if you don't like it, don't watch me no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't like, bro, you don't like like going on. What I got going on, you don't have to watch me. Like, you really don't have to watch me. It's up to you, you feel me? So with that being said, man, don't hate because I'm the type of guy that don't just, don't hate because I'm the type of guy that don't just buy dogs and fucking keep all the fucking dogs I produce. Now, who the fuck, who the fuck breed dogs to keep all the dogs they produce? That's dumb as fuck, like, that makes no sense. Why would I, the puppies going here? I hear you with that little man. Who the fuck buys dogs and breed them just to keep the whole litter and keep the mom and keep every damn body? That's stupid, bro. Like, that makes no damn sense. You know what I'm saying? So for the people that don't have common sense, I know what the fuck they be talking about. Don't worry about it, bro. Just, 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 just vibe, bro. They like, really just vibe, like, cause you sound crazy as hell. Right, let me get that. You sound crazy, bro. Like, oh, you sound like this, and oh, you just doing it for the money. I'm not doing it just for the money, because if that was the case, I wouldn't put no love into my elements. You know what I'm saying? If that really was the case, I wouldn't put no love into my elements. You feel me? I literally just be doing it for the money. So you know. For the people who just be running their mouth and don't be doing what the hell they be talking about. Who don't, and it's crazy, they be the motherfuckers that don't have nothing going positive for themselves. They have so much negative shit to say. I'm just speaking on, I don't really care too much about it. I ain't speaking on negativity. Just want to speak on that and say that. But I got a vision as a bully breeder, man. I got a certain dog I'm trying to produce. I'm not even happy saying, you know, I bought a dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I bought Sophie. That's not what I want to, you know what I'm saying? That's not the type of breed I want to be. I want to be that breeder that's like, oh yeah, I produced her. You know what I'm saying? See, that's the difference. Sophie daughter, I can say, oh yeah, I produced her. So that's a different feeling from saying you produce something and buying it. That's a different feeling, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah, I bought Sophie. But I produced her. Yeah, I bought Sophie, but I produced her daughter. You know what I'm saying? So that's a different feeling. That shit is, that shit is just different. Got my beard done, as y'all can see. Let's go ahead of this Disney.
somebody say something. Listen. Yes, he got his puppy early. Hey, y'all, shut up. Mona. Oh, somebody say something. Yes, he got his puppy early. But he know how to take care of him. No, I don't normally let puppies go that early. I do not normally let puppies go that early. No. So if you ask me, it won't happen. Puppies don't leave for eight weeks of age, but he knows what he's doing. He's going to bottle feed. So, I'm going to get puppy. That doesn't normally happen. Just if you're going to talk shit and be like, oh, yeah, this and that. Dude, this your bed, son. This is your bed, dude. Dude. Get out of here. Go, Mona. Listen, y'all. I think Mona took. I'm calling now. Y'all know I brought Mona the juice. I think she took. I'm calling now. Hey, Mona. Look at Mona beard. Hey, Damn. It never fails. Mona never fails. Look at her. Oh, my God. Get down there so they can see that thing. Oh, my. Goodness, she about to explode. She about to explode, man. This shit is crazy. Man, you know what I decided, bro? I made my final decision for this here scenario. I'm gonna keep a Merle male. I don't want no Merle female. I'm gonna keep a chocolate female or a lilac female. I don't want no Merle female. I'm gonna keep a Merle male and I don't want no Merle female. And that's the reason why I'm saying that, but I won't tell you guys just yet. Yeah. Oh. It's the reason I'm saying that, but I won't tell you guys just yet. What's up, Mona? Now, this is what Mona did, because that damn bitch she had, bro. Mona, you in there, Mona? You in there, Mona? Mona, you in there? Uh, she's not fucking with it. Come on, Mona. Everybody doing good. Drama had like a um Drama had an issue where she was um Drama had an issue, man, when she had real like the last two days, she had real bad diarrhea, really bad. But I guess it's because whoever doesn't know the guy who had her, he was feeding her some bullshit ass dog food. But I got her back right and she's good now. He was feeding her some bullshit ass dog food. But I got her back right. She's good now. I got her on the pro plan. I got her on a better uh, diet. So she's doing a lot better now. What's your, uh, dude, don't do that, dude. Gigi is doing incredible. Gigi is doing incredible. Again, Gigi is doing incredible now. I can let her loose and she won't even run. I'm going to show y'all. Watch this, watch this, dog. I just spent time with Gigi. Watch this, watch this, dog. Watch this. Watch this. Come on, Gigi. Gigi, come here. Come here, Gigi. There we go. She came back. <laughs> she came back. Come here, Gigi. You got to see me. How the hell Mona get out? You let her out. Get her, get her. <laughs> Told y'all, she won't go nowhere. I ain't gonna lie, she got me for a little bit. I thought she was gonna holler at me. She didn't. She came back. She came back. You come on, you did it. That's your bed. That's your bed. Get out of here. That's your bed. Come on. You just come on. That's your bed. Come on out here. That's your bed. Gigi, come on, man. That's your bed. Oh, I just stand. I don't care. She, I just want to stand, though. I ain't gonna lie. She scared me for a second. I've been working with her for the last couple of days, and she ain't did that shit. She just ran the road. She normally don't do that shit. That's why I'm shocked. But she came back, so we ain't tripping. We good. Drama. Come here, drama. Drama. Come here, dude. Come here, drama. I'm not letting anybody back, y'all. I want to let them in. I want to let them. All right, let me show y'all something real quick. So check this out. 
So I just want to show y'all something. Just let y'all see something. So normally, that dog's in the backyard, right? I won't let him in the back right now. And the reason being, I'm gonna show you guys why I won't let him in the back right now. I normally don't let him in the back until, you see how, you see how it's only shade right here? I won't let him in the back until it's shade all the way back there. At around like six o'clock, the whole backyard be shaded. So that's why I normally let them out. Right now is not the time because it's so much sun back there. And we all know bullies can't be in the sun like that. So until then, I won't put them back there right now. Mona, look at Mona. Mona's so happy. She's so happy. Mona's so happy. Mona. Mona. Look at that girl. She's so happy. Come on, Mona. That pretty much the end of the video. I just wanted to come on and say that. Um, always remember this, guys. When you become a bully breeder, man, you cannot fall in love with these dogs. You can have love for your dogs and you can love your dogs, but do not fall in love with your dogs. You cannot fall in love with your dogs. This is a bit, at the end of the day, this is a business. If you don't, if you fall in love with your dogs, you don't want to sell any of them in all that case. If you fall in love with your dogs and um, you just can't sell them or you get to a point where you don't feel like you want to sell them or something like that, then that means you don't need to breed. Like, don't breed because you're going to eventually have to sell your dog, man. Like, you're just going to have to sell them, you know, hands on Y'all see how heavy they're breathing? They only been out for a few minutes and they're breathing heavy because it's hot. That's why I don't want to let them out right now because it's too hot. Come on, uh, Mona. Get in there, Mona. Get in there, baby. So it's too hot for them to be out right now. So I can tell already how heavy you know what I'm saying they're breathing. But again, like I said, man, don't fall in love. Yeah, have love for your dog. I'm not saying don't have love for your dog. You definitely want to have love for your dogs. Cause I love all my dogs. But you can't be in love with your dogs when you're breeding bullies because you're going to end up fucking keeping your whole litter and not selling shit. So then what's the, hell, what, what's the point of you being a bully breeder if you get to that all your dogs and you don't want to sell them? Come on, man. That's, that's the agenda. You know what I'm saying? But a bully breeder, you feel me? Like, yeah, somebody might, I might say, oh, I'm not going to sell this dog. I'm not going to do that. But if the bag is right, anything is for sale. And that ain't because I don't love my dog. It's because at the end of the day, this is a business. Always remember that this is a business. You know what I'm saying? It's not just, I'm not doing this for fun. I'm not doing this for my health. You know what I'm saying? I love what I do. Don't get me wrong, I love what I do. Don't get me wrong. I love what I do by far. But at the end of the day, like I said, you still gotta understand. This is a business. This is a business first, pleasure later. It's a business first. I love what I'm doing, pleasure second. You know what I'm saying? So you just can't fall in love with it. You can't fall in love with it, man. You can't fall in love with it, man. You can't. You gotta always remember that feeling in your mind. What you're doing it for. What's your purpose? And my purpose in the buddy game is to make a name for myself and to create this bull that I can say I created that is like irreplaceable. That nobody can ever come and, you know what I'm saying, compare with. You know what I'm saying? That's my whole goal. So if I breed with a female dog and I feel like I accomplished my whole goal, which was to outproduce that mom, and I decide I want to sell it. That's what I'm gonna do, hands down, you know what I'm saying? Regardless of how much I love them, regardless of this, regardless of that. Cause the thing is, you blessed somebody else an opportunity to eat like you did. So the guy that bought Sophie, I blessed him with the opportunity to eat like I did, you know what I'm saying? So the Buddha community is all about helping each other. So I always remember that, you guys. But um, at the end of the day, I love you guys. That's the end of the video. Um, comment, do whatever y'all like. I love y'all, we gone.